the Streaming Video Alliance is really known for open caching. This is one of the first working groups that was spun up uh, when the organization was started about five and a half years ago. So I kind of want to just go over a little bit what open caching is and how it plays in with the CDNs and relates to CDN technologies. So first and foremost, what, you know, what is open caching? Well, I mean, in general, it's really a network of interconnected caches, right? And it's these caches can communicate to each other via APIs. So that is ultimately what the open caching network is. And there's a, there's a management component there as well that would allow somebody to manage multiple, ca multiple open caching compliant caches, you know, from a single point uh, of, uh, of management. But really, this is all about connecting the caches together so that everyone's, the caches are aware of what's happening in other caches. Um, open caching network is really about APIs. So that's how this is facilitated, right? So unlike traditional caches within their own delivery networks, these caches are open, right? They're able to be connected to programmatically via APIs and that allows, um, that allows these caches again to sort of aggregate all that data up into that management plane. Um, open caching is also about reference code. Uh, so we launched an initiative last year, an open source initiative called uh, Streaming Video Alliance Labs. And our labs initiative was meant to codify specifications developed by our working groups into reference code. So the idea is you don't just get documents and figure out like, how do you build this? Like, okay, this looks really cool, but I don't, you know, where should I start? And so the idea was we would produce this reference code for these specifications so that people could download the doc, understand the context of the API, and then grab some reference code, whether it's in you know, Python, Python or, or JavaScript or you know, some other scripting language uh, and be able to then implement that within you know, some sort of system. And then last, open caching is really about a collaborative approach. So as you'll see in a second, we'll talk about who's involved with this initiative and who's been contributing. You'll see that it has strong input from the entire ecosystem. Again, back to sort of who the Alliance is, it's got network operator input and service provider input and content rights holders input and technology vendor input. So it's really a collaborative effort to sort of bring open caching into the open. And again, the whole point of open caching is really to enable, you know, network operators specifically to have caches in their system and in their networks, which are open and available to rights holders to connect to other caches and other networks and have one big interconnected delivery pool of content. 